And in the sports news, Niger next January's Africa Cup of Nation finals in Cameroon have been postponed by one year and will now take place in 2022. The Confederation of African Football decided so on Tuesday. The COVID-19 health crisis has suspended football across most of the continent since March and left little time to complete the qualification competition. The Cup of Nations was due to be held from January the 9th of February to 6th next year, but will now be scheduled for January 2022. Cameroon will get to stage the semi-finals and final of this year's African Champions League, which will be played at a single venue in Douala. We are now joined by sports editor Jide Alabi via Zoom to take a look at this new development. Good morning, Mr. Alabi. Oh, good morning. Thank you for joining us. What's your reaction to the decision by CAF, first and foremost? Uh, for me, it, it's, it's a, a very good decision in the right direction. Um, we have a global pandemic, and uh, the best thing a CAF could do now is to align based on our preparedness and what we have to contain this virus. The truth is uh, health facilities all across Africa uh, is not something very huge or something we can really take home. So for them to postpone it is to see if um, the COVID-19 pandemic would have been in some sort of uh, uh, a reduction or outright, uh, you know, solution uh, before 2022, hopefully. So it's a, it's a right decision right. Uh, from CAF. All right. Mr. Jide, despite Africa having a lesser number of confirmed cases in comparison with other parts of the world, the World Health Organization has continued to raise alert on possible spike. Do we have what it takes to put all necessary measures for a successful tournament? If it's, what, if it's for the tournament itself, of course we do. But based on the fact that um, this pandemic thing, you know, which... Uh, we'll have to align our health sector with whatever preparation that we have. It's going to be very difficult. It's going to be really very difficult because, you know, um, in terms of statistics, we're not very good at it. We cannot at any point in time say there's the total correct number of people at our stadia during major matches. Mm -hmm. So that way, crowd control will be very difficult. So um, it, it, it will take a whole lot for, you know, management and organizers of football in Africa uh, to ensure that uh, they do not also help in the spread of this pandemic. So they have to be careful in the kind of decision they make. And I believe that's why instead of next year, they're thinking, hey, guys, um, let's, let's move to 2022. Right. Now, aside, aside from that, what about the economic gain and, you know, absence of fanfare, fanfare of the tournament, possibly without spectators and even paying for tickets? Well, there are two things now. Do you, are you going to look at uh, gains, profits to the detriment of people's lives? Or um, we just don't want football to go to the extent during this period? So the, the issue of gain will be out of it. Rather, uh, like they're doing in Europe right now, playing football without the fans, that definitely might end up being the case if the pandemic is not put on the check. All right, thank you so very much. That's all that we can take, uh, Mr. Jide Alabi, for being with us this morning. Keep safe out there. Uh, you too. Um, always a pleasure.